In 2017, the Nobel Prize in Medicine went to three scientists who spent their careers studying circadian rhythm. If you're like me, you're probably confused. I thought circadian rhythm was your body's sleep-wake cycle, which is controlled by melatonin, and I thought it was well understood. I mean, people change their sleep patterns using sleeping pills all the time, so shouldn't the science behind it be a well-established fact? Well yes, but as I learned, that wasn't what the scientists were working on. What they were studying is the master clock behind circadian rhythm, which runs in every cell in the body and runs every cycle in the body. Even bacteria have them. How does it work? It begins in the DNA with this gene, period. Through the afternoon and night, it makes a protein, her, which collects in the cell's cytoplasm. At night, after enough protein buildup, her returns to the nucleus and stops the period gene from making more protein. Then in the morning, her breaks up, which allows the cycle to restart. That's a basic summary. We'll rewind and add more detail. There are two other genes involved called cycle and clock, which help period make per. Without them, the period gene can't make per. When per returns to the cell nucleus, it actually disables cycle and clock. Disabling them disables period, which stops the per production. Again, per breaks up in the morning, restarting the cycle. We'll rewind again and add another gene, timeless. Like period, timeless has cycle and clock attached to help it make a protein. Tim. In cytoplasm, tim bonds to pur, which prevents pur from breaking down so easily. It's actually this combination that prevents cycle and clock genes from working. In the morning, these proteins break down to restart the cycle. But why do pur and tim break down so easily? It's because of two other proteins, double time and cryptochrome, which are designed to destroy pur and tim. When pur enters the cytoplasm, double time begins breaking it down. However, it can't break tim or the pur tim combo. So eventually, the Pertim combo collects and returns to the nucleus, where it stops the timeless and period genes again. However, in the morning, the sunlight does something interesting. Cryptochrome, which does nothing most of the time, changes its shape when light hits it and it starts breaking Tim, which allows double time to break Per. This restarts the cycle. While these systems were discovered in the fruit fly, further research shows that this system works in almost all species, except for one thing. In the last part of the cycle, Cryptochrome is activated by light. In flies, that's no problem because light shines practically through their bodies, allowing the sun to directly regulate their whole system. That obviously doesn't happen in humans, so how does it work in us? While research is ongoing, most scientists agree that the supercosmetic nucleus, a group of cells in the hypothalamus, uses the system I described to function as the master clock for the whole body. These cells receive light from ganglia, or special retinal neurons, and using that, they then send signals and chemicals to get all other body cycles synchronized. It's an important function, and that's why this research won the Nobel Prize. 